Hi, it's Allison from Mahalo.com, and today we're talking about graphing. Graphing is really useful because it gives you the chance to see what an equation looks like. Now, when you do a graph, you use what's called a pair of coordinate axes. They look like this. The horizontal axis is the x-axis, and the vertical axis is the y-axis, and they meet at a point called the origin. Now, when you see a pair of coordinate points, something like 3, 4, the first value is the x-coordinate, and the second value is the y-coordinate. When you move to the right in x, that's the positive direction, and when you move to the left, that's the negative direction in x. So we would have positive numbers over here, and we would have negative numbers over here. Now, for the y-axis, up is positive, so we would have positive numbers here, and down is negative in y. So we would have, I'm just going to label the bottom one, so these are negative values in y go down. So you'll see a coordinate point, something like this 3, 4, and the first thing you do is you move 3 in x, so we'll start at the origin, and we move to 3 in x, and then what we do is we look at the y-coordinate, the 4, and from that point where we are on the x-axis, we move that many points on the y-axis. So we're going to go up 4. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, and our point 3, 4 is right up there. Now, you can actually tell where a point will be on the coordinate plane just by looking at the signs. The coordinate plane is split into four quadrants. This is quadrant 1. This is quadrant 2, this is quadrant 3, and this is quadrant 4. So they go counterclockwise, they're numbered counterclockwise. Now, if both the x and y values are positive, they'll be in quadrant 1. If the x value is negative and the y value is positive, it'll be over here in quadrant 2. If both values are negative, that'll be down here in quadrant 3. And if the x value is positive, but the y value is negative, you'll find them down here in quadrant 4. And that's basically it. That's how you graph a point on the coordinate plane. Thanks for learning with me today. If you'd like more information on any of the topics, click on the links below. And be sure to rate, comment, or subscribe to our channel. If you have a specific request, please send it to requests at mahalo.com. I'll see you next time.